This is Road Race Motorsports. We're doing another one of our install videos today. Here we're showing you all the tools we're gonna need for this spring install on our 08, 09 project car. Basically all you need is a 3 8 drive, ratchet and extension, 12 millimeter socket and a 14 millimeter socket, a half inch ratchet with a 17 millimeter socket, a 19 millimeter socket, as well as a 21 millimeter socket to remove your wheels. You're also going to need for the rear a hammer and some sort of kick or you can even use a screwdriver just like this to poke the bolts out of the control arms. On this video we are going to use an impact gun as well as spring compressors just to hurry up the video a little bit but we're also going to give you some pointers on how to do this in your driveway if you don't have these tools. So step one would be to take your wheel off which we already did to save a little bit of time. Then step two would be to take your strut bar off, which this car is equipped with one of our road race strut bars. So go ahead and remove that. You're also gonna wanna remove um, one of the other, you have to leave one of these nuts up here that hold your strut up. Um, just so the whole assembly doesn't fall down when you're taking all the nuts and bolts off down there. So that's it for the top of the vehicle for right now. All right, now you're going to want to start down here. The first thing you're going to want to take off is this bracket here that's holding your brake line in place, which is a 12 millimeter nut. Be sure to use some WD-40. Uh, these do tend to get rusted up, as you can see here on our sway bar bolt. So just make it a little easier on yourself. The next one would be this nut here that holds your sway bar. So go ahead and remove the sway bar end lead from the shock mount. Remove this bracket which holds your brake line in place. There's this little plastic bracket here which just unclips from the whole assembly. The next one you're going to want to take off is going to be these two 19 millimeter nuts here which are the bolts that bolt it all together to the, to the knuckle. Now that everything's off of the shock, all you have to do is push it up just a little bit to relieve some of the tension that's on this, this top mount bolt right here, this 14 millimeter bolt. Take the nut off. You then pull your whole assembly off. Now with the 17 millimeter Go ahead and remove the bolt off of the top of the hat here. Now for those of you guys that don't have spring compressors or don't have an impact gun, basically all you have to do is remove this 17 millimeter bolt while it's still attached up here to the, the, the last little bolt with the ratchet. It'll take all of the tension off of your spring, off of the shock absorber. So step two, as far as the shock goes, remove this plastic little part here, which will go back on. All right, now to reassemble your shock assembly with the new spring, Basically all you have to do is put this little plastic piece down here, reinstall your, your spring, 
Now, if you take a look at your stock shock, there's a hole right here, which has to be lined up with this hole here on the hat. So once you get those lined up, all you basically have to do is get one of your buddies to help you out, which Carlos is gonna do for me here. Then center the rod on the shock assembly. And push down as hard as you can, just enough to get the threaded part through get the nut started, which isn't horribly hard to do. Get it all tightened up again. Now, to put everything back together is basically the exact same thing you did to take everything out, as far as brackets, sway bar end link, and uh, everything up top with the 14 millimeter bolts which we're going to show you a little bit sped up in this video just so you get the hang of it Once you got all your, these two bolts in place, go ahead and put your brackets back. So that takes care of the brake line bracket there. Sway bar end link. This little plastic ABS bracket here, which just opens up, has two little holes on the shock itself here. Clip those in. Tighten everything up, um, put, your, put your strut tower uh, brace back on and that's basically all there is to the front. The next video will be the rear install which we'll show you next.